do you believe in magic and giants? This place will take you back to the Middle Ages as on the top of that hill sits one of the best preserved medieval towns. This is Motovun, a captivating hilltop town and a symbol of Eastern interior. Hi guys, my name is Rock and I spent last 9 years traveling around Europe as a tour guide and I can't wait to show you around magical Motovun, Croatia. As this is an old hilltop town, you will have to do some uphill walking as the town is a pedestrian-only area. But you will be rewarded by a spectacular view of beautiful Tuscan-like landscape. This is still a breathing and living small town despite few empty houses. Among many others, there are also historical reasons for some of the empty houses. Between the two world wars, Istria was part of Italy and a lot of Italians lived in Montavun when it was known as Montona. After the Second World War, Istria became part of communist Yugoslavia and many Italian families moved to Italy. One of these Italian families from Montavun had a small boy that became a famous American racing driver and F1 champion, Mario Andretti. Nowadays, many of the houses are used as holiday apartments, although most people visit Motovun as a day trip. The entire town can be seen in a few hours, but there are also unusual things you can do around here. One of them is truffle hunting. Motovun is a capital of truffles, expensive underground mushrooms with distinctive flavor and smell. Apparently, truffles are ultimate natural aphrodisiac, but they also taste really nice on pasta or sauce. An old oak forests around Motovun are the richest ground where truffles are hiding deep in clay. Around town you will see shops selling truffles and all restaurants have truffles on their menus. Here, truffles are as local and organic as it gets. Now let's walk to the major attractions of Motovun. Motovun Old Town is still encircled by double town walls that are separating the town in three parts. To get to the old part inside the town walls, you will first have to walk along this elongated ridge of the hill where first part of the town, an old suburb, developed. Short walk will get you to the city walls and the main town gates. Entrance to the old town is still through the main town gate, ornamented with stone coat of arms and the winged lion of St. Mark, the symbol of Venetian Republic that ruled Motovun for over 500 years. Entering through the main gate, you will find yourself on this elongated square. I'm sure you'll be immediately impressed by it and its beautiful views, but this is not the main square. This is an external town square. The main square is hidden behind this massive municipal palace from the 13th century that is the largest secular building in Istria from that time and also serves as inner defensive wall. If you need a break from the walk, you can sit and enjoy a drink or a meal with spectacular view. At the very edge of this square is a loggia built in 16th century that serves as a viewpoint from where you can see the entire valley and the river Mirna at the bottom. Next to it is a street leading to the lower part of the old town on the southern slope. That part sits directly at the base of the inner city walls and used to be also encircled by outer walls of which only a small part still exists. Next to the street are the inner town gates. These gothic gates from the 14th century are leading further to the oldest part of the town. This is rather a spacious main square for a hill town and it's divided in two parts. First part is surrounded by the church of St. Stephen and a bell tower on one side and huge municipal palace on the other. The palace served as a town hall and separates main square from external square. 
parish church of St. Stephen is the most important of four churches in town as it sits on the most protected main square. It succeeded to older churches and was built by Venetians in 1600s, although its final shape is from the end of the 18th century. The interior is richly decorated as expected for late Baroque period, but unfortunately at the time of my visit the church is closed, so you will have to explore the interior when you get here. Right next to the church is a bell tower that is much older than the church. This landmark of Mutavun is dominating the landscape for more than 700 years. The bell tower is 27 meters or 88 feet high and has distinctive crenellated crown as it was built as town's main tower and observation post. Over the centuries it was refurbished on various occasions to be finally converted into a bell tower. The second part of the square has old trees providing nice shade for the restaurant terrace of Hotel Castel. Each part of the square has an old stone well as under the entire square is a large water storage tank which supplied water to the town. Once you enter through the inner town gates, you will get to the very top of the hill, the inner part of the town, encircled by completely preserved inner town walls from the 13th and 14th centuries. These town walls are the most preserved fortification system in Istria with well-preserved square towers, defensive walls and gates. You can take a walk on the top of the walls to see stunning landscape of Istrian interior. When you will walk on the walls, you will probably see a big mural on one of the houses. That is Veli Joje or Big Joe. He was a good and gentle Istrian giant that, according to the legend, lived in the forests around Mutavun and is part of the magic in the town. You can see all major attractions in Motovun in a couple of hours and have enough time for sipping coffee or enjoying fresh truffles with spectacular view. But Motovun also offers many cultural events, the most famous one being annual film festival dedicated to independent film productions. It attracts movies and people from around the world in the last week of July. The symbol of the film festival is ship's propeller as its inventor, Joseph Ressel, lived in Motovun for a while. If you visit Motovun, it's good to know that the car park is at the bottom of the hill from where a shuttle bus will take you closer to the top, but you'll still have to do a little bit of uphill walking. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. You can share your questions, suggestions or experience about Motovun in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit notification bell to be notified about my future travel videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.